once again, you're back here with old Barry, and uh, today I have to head out to an area on the north coast called Paita. Um, while uh, much of this past couple of weeks, uh, our new truck, well not new, our used truck uh, came in. We imported from the states that we had found in Florida and worked out a deal as the truck you see in this video all the time, Yota, as for short for Toyota, um, about three weeks before the lockdown, we had a little river crossing that went sour because we got stuck in it. And it's a long story, but uh, we secured it, uh, cabled it to the trees, and we're going to do a whole set of video on that because a freak act of nature happened, and the next morning we came back to a total mess, which we're going to keep our viewers informed about. Anyway, it took a long time to find a replacement vehicle um, and I'm working on it as we do this video I've been working on it for about three days now and there'll be about well I'd say about three to four weeks worth of work before it's roadworthy to the point of the areas that I'll be using it in but in the meantime why not hop along with me and uh, as I go to an area called Paita on uh, this video we're going to be passing by uh, some nice little farm towns uh, it was a clear day I thought you know well great day to take you all along for a ride with me those of you that are interested and uh, we'll be going through San Rafael, Santa Maria, a uh, little farm region called La Flaca, meaning the skinny, and a little town called Mr. Blecco, uh, one that I'm not too proud of, but it's called Mala Canadensia, I'm bad Canadian, and I don't know the history about that, but I'll check, it into, check into it one day and see what it's all about, and end up driving out through Los Cajuiles, which means cashews, the cashews. Anyway, as you enjoy the beautiful green nature, this is pretty much a normal day with me. Uh, I'm scouting out a new little project here, which is getting to be more and more popular which are small little lots and simple two or three bedroom homes you know get into the whole thing for around eighty five thousand bucks you know seventy five thousand dollars in that general area uh, a lot of people even here are starting to sense naturally only in the big cities when i say the big cities i'm referring to places like uh... the capital obviously which is tipping five million people also Santiago which is getting a little over two million and about a million and a quarter uh, San Francisco de Macorí which uh, a lot of people are sensing uh, issues going on and uh, you know I, as I said in previous videos I'm just so tired of reporting on the mundane but on some private uh, blogs that keep us mentors informed uh, to the degree that we like to be ahead of the curve uh, it's even now coming out where some top officials even in Germany all over they're coming out and saying this whole lockdown was unnecessary this and that if you want to do your research you go ahead if you want to listen to what mainstreams or newscasts are trying to scare you and to keep you in a sense of fear so you're tilted to look at going in a certain direction I would say a programmed sense of direction y'all go ahead and do that because you know free will is free will we can all make our own choices um, but free will kind of runs into a brick wall when it comes to protecting you from the choices you've made. So enough about that. But clearing on, we've had a, an incredibly great summer. It was not one of the hottest summers that I've seen around here. Uh, we've had a fair amount of water, which is great. We didn't have any drought this year. It doesn't look like we're going to have any drought because we're already into September. Uh, what else can I tell you as we drive along through um, San Rafael? Uh, I guess the best thing I can say is uh, we're picking up some great folks again for a second time uh, coming in from uh, the island of Bermuda. Looking forward to seeing those guys again. And uh, we've got another uh, couple coming back, uh, I believe, from the state of Florida in the not too distant future. So old Barry and John and Leanne were all kept busy. And uh, excuse me while I pass this guy. You, this is normal in Dominican Republic. Instead of turning, he made a mistake. He's going back down the whole road. You watch me if I'm wrong. And uh, he, it's just normal in the country. I'm just going to go around him. But anyway. 
These are all peaceful little country towns. There's no fuss, there's no muss. You don't see people all behind these face diapers, all in panic. I, I guess, you know, it's just so disappointing. I, I've made it so clear we were rounding the corner towards a million views from a little website like ours just reporting on the pandemic and what's going on around the world and everything and then all of a sudden we got shadow banned and that's good like i said before we're wearing it like a badge of honor so when people kind of give you the oh yeah really what did you do about it well we can show you that we did enough to get shadow banned by trying to bring truth to the public and you know it's sad though because from what we're seeing the majority of you good folks out there are dependent upon well that's a great idea or sending videos and why not publish this why not get that out and i know your heart's in the right place but i'm questioning your mind because all that's doing is furthering the fear factor okay sending this information out to people who are already misinformed. That's the key words. They're already misinformed. And then you're, they're already scared. They're already in a state of panic where there's no need to be. And all you're doing is massaging that and rubbing it in deeper, even though you mean well. See, it just doesn't work that way. The way we were created by whatever or whoever created us, that's irrelevant. But we were created to where we have to do our own independent research. And it takes time, it takes effort, and above all, it takes an open mind. As I've said in several videos, and it's a fact, I see it on my excursions all the time between the first day or two they get in or the last few days before they leave. What a difference in how they even look after they've been in some of these places and relax a little bit. But the thing is, you have to do your own investigation with an open mind. And the hardest thing I keep saying, the hardest thing to do, there's Mr. Blecko's turn off, the hardest thing to do is unlearn as an adult. Okay, as a child, we learn so easily. You know, every parent said it. Oh, my God, they absorb not like a sponge. Of course, because they haven't been beaten or browbeaten down. Their mind is open. And that's the most difficult thing for us adults. I know we all mean well. I know people all masked up and diapered up and everything across their face. They mean well. But they don't realize the big picture, what they're doing to their children, how they're teaching their children to be afraid, to distance yourself, don't show your emotions, the mask covers it all. And it's irrelevant that they mean it for their child's health. It's, you know, it's, it's so obvious to understand. It is the one who is uninformed is basically harmless because they know nothing. They are uninformed. They can't sway you one direction or another. What makes the media so powerful when it's used to control us is by keeping people misinformed, okay? Not uninformed, misinformed. When you're misinformed, you believe you know something of truth or of value, and you'll back an opinion, and you'll get into a heated debate, and you'll stand foot solid on what you think you know. That's why I go back to saying the hardest thing for an adult is to unlearn. That's why in many of the beliefs we are referred to as a vessel. If a vessel holds six ounces and you want to add something more to it, you must first take out whatever it is, an ounce or two, so you can add more to it. If the vessel is only capable of six ounces and it's already full, it can't absorb any more. I hope everybody will keep that in mind and, and you know, bless you all for sending me all these videos and this and that, but my God, it's so far beyond that. It's time to really start thinking about yourself because if you don't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. 
And if you really are strong enough, and believe me, I've lost a lot of relationships over this, but if you're strong enough and determined enough, you will find ways to make things work. Humanity's always done it in the past, and it's going to continue to do it now. This is my region. This is why I live here. This is nothing short of pure paradise. And uh, we're right here, uh, some of the most beautiful farm country, and we're full of food, fruits, vegetables, beef, chicken, you name it, we got it. Okay, guys, so stay cool. Make the correct decisions by not panicking, and you're going to be fine. Those of you that are interested in voting with your feet, if this is an area that looks good, we're here for you. Till then, this is old Barry and DR. Thanks for riding along.